Hey guys, Dillard here, playing some Final Fantasy XI. Recently had its 22nd anniversary, and a little over a year ago, we had a little producer change and not so optimistic news of a reduced development team and scaling back the content. However, let's take a look at the future of Final Fantasy XI. What can we expect coming in maybe 2024? What to look for? So, they recently had a little freshly picked band deal where they talk about some of their development goals and things that they will be adding. They'll be doing stuff from like finishing up the work on upgrading their server architecture. Will that make the zones load quicker, equipment load faster? Said they were struggling with that. Uh, be adding uh, some increasing the besiege level to a harder version of a C, some new equipment, and different quality of life for items, additional records of eminence, changes to dynamis, helping out your gamepad, and maybe you want to swap your character's race, and what can we look forward to in Final Fantasy XI? We're just running through some Odyssey here on Rune Fencer. Figure I'll get some job points on this. Trying to do something with this dual wield rune fencer seems to be doing more. So let's take a look at the development goals from the freshly picked number 68 Van Dill. So they're gonna be making some besiege level 99 content. Current contents made for level 75, and if you ever do that for like the monthly. Thing. You just basically go in and uh, AOE kill the whole squad, everything dead in about two minutes. As fast as they spawn, they're dead. So they're going to be bringing it up to first to level 99, which will probably feel like the same thing because everybody will just be killing everything so fast. But eventually, maybe we'll get the level 119 version. And, you know, it's a lot of fun spending like an hour in Besiege. We'll have to add additional rewards to make it worthwhile to do. I uh, doubt it'll last that long, even at 119, but goal is to make Besiege more challenging, like it used to be, but also manageable, which is why it will be balanced for level 99 as opposed to level 119. The strength of the Serpent Generals will also be increased, so there's that. We add in some Archangel equipment, separate from the cosmetic versions already in the game be compatible with all races so for example like the elven gear will not be exclusive to elven taru will be able to wear it also taru legs elven legs same equipment same pants that's definitely happening so look forward to it we'd like to add additional features like maybe long ability to change your race for whatever reason that's a thing adding some new icons to items indicating whether or not they can be sent to other characters on the same account till now they had to keep a list and then manually list each thing so now it'll be easier to understand and reduce their workload of updating a list be adding some records of imminence for sortie objectives for records of imminence will be added for sortie there will also be an unrepeatable one-time objective added that will reward a big bad old case because you know you want another old case regular version there it is they've heard you you wanted a guaranteed old case they just didn't hear the plus two part but there you go They'll be adjusting Dynamis Divergence. Adjustments will be made to the entry system and entry time to make it easier for players to participate in the content and allow them to enter consecutively back to back in Dynamis Divergence. It should work something similar to the Rakarzin plate in Sortie. So, to doing some Dynamis Divergence, having trouble getting everybody on the same time and maybe miss a run you'll be able to join a run we added some gamepad config improvements because we all need the big jump button on the gamepad 
new options will be added to the gamepad config, including the ability to set buttons to open the map, use the jump emote, as well as target the nearest NPC. That's probably a decent one there. Instead of hitting F8 on your keyboard, you'll be able to configure a gamepad button. So, you now there's that. And teams moving forward with their server replacement and upgrading their server infrastructure may be possible with the new infrastructure to greatly reduce and eliminate maintenance times, but they can't guarantee this. Current servers are barely kicking and once replaced will be good for at least another five years. So there's that. And we added maybe ability to change your character's race. The king's looking into ability to change your character's race, gender size, and, and all of that. And why waste time with this? It's a waste. Okay, so in closing, Fujito asked for the player's patience. They're low on staff and only can do so much so quickly. And they want to continue delivering new content updates to keep the world of Vanadil fresh. But it might take a little longer than they expect. But there's still a lot to do. Need more grouping. And it would be nice to have some kind of more open-ended, easy-to-join alliance type content. The players would be able to do that, but we don't know what else we'll be getting. There's additional besiege, so we shall see. At least there's something to look forward to. Uh, they also said they had some other ideas for new content and they're going to be trying to get a budget for it. So who knows what surprises are in store for Final Fantasy. If you haven't already, subscribe. We'll be adding more Final Fantasy. Yo!